All right, boys and girls, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we've got a swivel gun, and I'm about to send these watermelons to Davy Jones's locker. Let's do it. Ha ha ha! Take that, you scarly knave. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Yeah, buddy. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about this swivel gun. Check it up. Uh, it uses interchangeable mugs in the rear. It's kind of like a medieval style uh, swivel gun. A friend of mine, Dom, at uh, cannonfab.com uh, builds these little cannons out and he does them in a variety of different sizes. And I wanted a swivel gun uh, to go with my boat and for us to shoot uh, salute blanks out of when we're out on the ocean and everything having fun. And uh, we've actually got it mounted to a piece of the original deck of the USS Constitution. So our buddy Pablo used to work uh, detail on that ship and was able to get me a section of the deck where they did refurb of it. So it does have a yoke, it does swivel. So uh, the, the point of a swivel gun is so that obviously it swivels up and down and side to side. And they were used for ship defense, um, rampart defense, fort defense, um, but they really did find their way uh, quite well on use in ships and things just because their versatility and the fact that you notice I just breech loaded this cannon. So it's a smooth bore uh, breech loader with a one inch bore. We're shooting three ounce fishing weights, cannonball sinkers out of this thing. And I'm, we're gonna shoot some buckshot here in a minute. I'm using a slow match. All right, let's take shot number two and see if we can take out a uh, watermelon number two here. All right, you ugly bugger. <laughs> I scalped him. Look at that. <laughs> it shoots a little high. All right, we're going to try a couple of other targets. The watermelons don't look too bad. I'll tell you what, the guy on the left there looks relatively unscathed. All right, so not only can we shoot a solid projectile out of this, we can also shoot a buckshot round. So I've got another canister here loaded with buckshot. This is 20 pellets of double aught in this cannon. Uh, we're using a 80 grain charge of black powder, so not a huge charge. The salute loads on these little cannons are about 230 grains when you run it with a blank. When you run with solids or with a heavy projectile or buckshot, you want to get it down to about 80 or maybe 100 grains on the top end. You just got this wedge here that's timed and keyed. Uh, the rear cup goes in and you push it over to the right. You put your wedge back in and that's it. That's what holds it shut during the uh, firing cycle. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sling around a buckshot at this other uh, <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> looks like we got a few uh, pieces of the buckshot went through them. That didn't quite have the uh, report of the solid. I might have to up the charge on that or maybe put a little bit more wadding in there. I'll tell you what, just for fun, I've got one more buckshot round. We'll go ahead and shoot that. So the nice thing about this cannon is that you can run these interchangeable mugs. All right, it makes uh, reloading a lot of fun. Uh, this little cannon is absolutely a blast to shoot, especially around 4th of July. You know, run it with salute blanks. It's nice and loud. You get that firework-like aesthetic out of it. It's just great. All right. Close the breech up. Tend the match. All right. This one's probably going to have about the same report, but I'm going to shoot it down there just to get rid of it. And we'll load up some more solids for this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that buckshot got right in there. It actually hit his buddy over there to the side as well. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. I'm going to reload these mugs. Okay. And we'll shoot some other stuff. Isn't that cool? All right. We got our favorite target, guys. A couple of sodi pops. We're going to see if we can't launch a three-ounce uh, sinker through here with our slow match and our swivel gun. <laughs> well, we got the man in the middle, didn't we? <laughs> All right, I'm going to reload it here in real time. All right. Fresh mug. 
breech plug, tend the match. All right, let's lo lob another one, see if we can hit that guy on the ground. It hit high and hit his buddy a second time. <laughs> it never gets old, no matter how many times I do it. I love black powder. All righty. Number three. Now remember, you got to do this in the duress of combat. You got to keep your slow match going, and you got to do it without getting shot by the enemy. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, I got one soda, one more charge. <laughs> Woo, buddy. All right, got a cannon in the canister in the tube, breach plug in. We got one more baddie down there that we got to send to Davy Jones's locker. All right, here we go. We got him. <laughs> got to wait for the smoke to clear. Do we? He's nowhere to be found. Guys, what in the heck? Okay, let's come up with something else fun to do. All right, so when we're going up against stuff of a fleshy consistency, we know what this thing can do, but I'm real curious to see how it does in a pine uh, baffle penetration test. So we've got our uh, fresh, uh, nice baffle stack set up that John built. Hopefully we don't destroy the frame. I'm gonna try to put it through the center and let's see how many pine boards that this uh, three ounce uh, egg sinker can get through here out of the little swivel gun. All right. <laughs> All right, a little high, but let's go inspect and see uh, how many boards we got through. Let's do it. So not to spoil the surprise too much, but we did locate the round ball, and look at that. It did not lose any shape at all. That's a, that's a hard cast fishing sinker. All right, and that's three ounces. Uh, so that's still got some staying power there. You could just about load that back in the cannon and shoot it again if you wanted. All right, so door number one. <laughs> yep, no contest there. Look at that clean hole. One of the things that we notice when we shoot black powder, not to mention cannons, but especially just anything with a round ball, they always cut a perfectly round hole. Um, I shot a deer last year with my Norwegian Kamawater, and it is amazing. I, I can't show the picture here, but if you look at the hole in the deer's hide uh, where the projectile passed through the deer, it's a perfectly round patch, just like that. It, it does the same thing in an animal. You can eat all the way up to the hole on an animal that you shoot with black powder with a non-expanding bullet, okay? So that's four baffles. Door number five, no dice. Okay, door number six, oh, denied. All right, we've got an indentation. That's a pretty interesting result. And also, what I'm going to do, guys, uh, you know, myself and all the other, other fellas here, we're going to sign these boards, and I'm going to give away these, uh, these baffles to our Patreon uh, subscribers as well as this cannon projectile. So be looking out. I'll post a little thing on Patreon. Uh, we definitely want to thank all of our Patreon supporters who, uh, you know, help us out with this kind of stuff. All right. And then our last three baffles, of course, uh, nothing there. Blew all kind of chunks out. Look at that. Really crazy. All right. We're going to do one more thing with the cannon. I've still got a few canisters loaded up. Let's do it. All right. We got another watermelon we're going to wrap up with here. I got a few canisters to get rid of and we got some all-purpose flour. We're gonna hit that and see what it looks like. And I've got some of my slow match. Hopefully this will work for us. All right, let's go for it. Watermelon.
<laughs> yeah, okay, we'll stand our flower up here in a second. I'm probably gonna have to relight my match anyway. Okay, we're gonna shoot it again. I had to relight my slow match. Um, if you guys are interested in contacting Dom, look, I'll, I'll let you know. The guy that built this cannon, Dominic, he suffered a mild heart attack and he had to have surgery recently. So send him an email and tell him, you know, to get better. Or if you're interested in checking out one of these cannons or talking to him about them, I'll put his email address, uh, you know, down in the description box below. You can contact him about these cannons. Uh, these things are cool. Okay, all-purpose flower. Get down to Davy Jones's locker, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let me relight my match. I'm gonna have to work on my slow match recipe. Okay, final canister. Really good stuff here. Um, so we run 100 grains of powder, three ounce egg sinker, and uh, a little little bit of 4F in there just to help with the priming. Really cool setup. Okay, grand finale, we'll let you guys get back to your day. All right. I'll teach you to come on my waters again, boy. <laughs> this thing is so much fun to shoot. I cannot wait to try this thing out on the boat. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate the support. Those of you who purchase man cans, those of you who purchase t-shirts over on Ballistic Inc., as well as our Patreon supporters, be looking out on Patreon if you're on our Patreon page. We're going to give away our baffle stacks that we shot, as well as the projectile that we recovered. And I'll sign all of those boards for our Patreon supporters. So, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.